Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to explain why you should not directly manipulate the DOM in Angular. It will cause performance issues, it might be some issues with change detection and so on. So the first thing we want to do essentially we're going to add a button and let's call a function change color which we need to add now in the TS file. So we'll create a function called change color and the function will essentially have a timer which will time the amount of time it takes for it to perform this task. So what it does essentially it will call to fetch this button. When it receives the button we'll just change the color to red and we're going to use this this timer to to time how long time this would take. So click on it you can see it takes you 0 0.042 milliseconds which is not too much and keep in mind this is a small case we're changing we're only changing the color of a button. So pressing it you'll see that the the value might vary. It is quite high anyway. <clears throat> so there's alternative ways of doing it. So one way of doing it or the right way to do it really would be to create a function. So where you usually use the color uh, as a variable. So you set the color here. So when you change the color you put it to be red here in the TS file and in the HTML file we'll go ahead and create a button so change color the correct way here we want to have the change color the right way function called but we also want to make sure that we set the color of the button in this way so just to compare in size how big it would be this takes 0 0.035 milliseconds meanwhile this one takes 0 0.003 so it's like 10 times faster than the other way so please guys do it right do it the correct way thank you for watching all the best bye